Hello, friends. It's your best brunch pal, Coleman Domingo here. The March winds have blown in, and I invite you to celebrate International Women's Day with me and some truly iconic women that I know. Of course, that means some good food, an exceptional cocktail, and extraordinary conversation. And remember, around here, bottomless bunch of Coleman's, it's always pants optional. Welcome back to my home. Come on. Let's meet today's brunch squad. Oh my God, you guys, this is a special day for me. I have an actor, a filmmaker, and I do not say this lightly, a director extraordinaire. Please welcome to brunch, Miss Victoria Mahoney. Woo! <sighs> That's my studio order. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi, Coleman. I am super delighted for this next guest. She is a wonderful actress who I've known since we made our Broadway debuts, and she is currently saving lives and breaking hearts of millions on Grey's Anatomy. Please welcome my friend, Miss Kelly McCreary. Hi, Hi friend. Coleman. Oh my God, I'm so happy to break bread with you today. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad. We made it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you are two of the most positive people that I know. Why? Okay, I'm just kidding. But seriously, what helps you set the tone <laughs> for your day? What is your secret? Okay, Victoria, what's your secret to, to maintain positivity to get through these days? I'm a avid meditator for, I'm like 30 mm. years in. I started early, I kind of had to because I was going bananas and it was the only thing that could calm me. I also know, and I can tell our friends here that I noticed with you, you've taken magic wherever you find it. Thank yeah. <laughs> what about you, Kelly McCreary? I really do have to outsource my joy. <laughs> you know, like Tabitha Brown yeah. says, uh, have a great day, but if you don't, go, don't go messing up nobody else's. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I yeah, love it. Yeah, right? <laughs> so with that said, I think it's time for some brunch and some cocktails. How about that? <laughs> Good. Woo! Let's go have some brunch. <laughs> Kelly, I want to ask you first, what did yes. you prepare today, my friend? I made coconut rice with black beans and kale. Ooh. So yeah, there's some coconut rice underneath the bottom of that. Coconut rice with cardamom. And then I made like black bean, kale, red and oh. green pepper, garlic. What? And, Is that kind of a Jamaican and, meal? It feels kind of like islands or something. You know, I think, Coleman, I think it's <laughs> Belizean. Is it? I think it might oh, be wow. Belizean. Oh, you bought, you <laughs> made, I'm like, you made it for my people. See, I was like, maybe I my did. auntie makes something like that. I made it in like honor that. of you. Are you serious? That is fantastic. Yes. I have to say, I put my foot in this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> it's good. Now, could you explain to some one. of the people that may not know the expression, put your foot in something? Oh, that's an old black granny expression <laughs> for really putting your whole self into your cooking. That's, that's your love, your ingredients in your kitchen and all the like, all the joy you felt that day, all the angst you felt that day, it all goes into the pot and you mix you it. Put and you, you, in. And you, you put your foot in. You put your foot in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. you share it with the family. Uh, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> and, what, and what about you, Victoria Mahoney? What did you put your foot in? I put my foot and my whole soul into a white fish, it's a turmeric fish. I use cod oh. with a gorgeous egg, some sauteed mushrooms Let's with see lavender. That. Let's see. Can you, I, oh I, I realize the camera. Oh my no, goodness, beautiful. and the presentation. Wow. See, it's tilted, see there? Oh! oh. Artful, everything is <laughs> artful. There goes. Did, it, did it slide? It just did it slide? slid. Did it yes. slid? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful though. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Well, I present to you for what I put my foot in today. I just decided to do a simple avocado toast, actually. Oh, Ooh. oh man. Love. Beautiful. Simple. Because, you know, usually I, I'm in for something meaty, cheesy, and greasy. So I thought I'd <laughs> try to act like I'm watching my figure with you two, okay? All right. <laughs> this is all a lie. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Made for TV, Coleman. I, my internal clock is telling me it's time for a cocktail. Oh, please. <laughs> so I think that we need to make a brunch top cocktail, okay, you guys? And we're going to pick yeah. up on more of this good, delicious, delicious, tasty conversation after we drink. All right, come on, let's go. Okay, you guys, I sent you some ingredients. I sent you a care package of a cocktail, right? Um, because we're going to do something really cool today. Uh, today, we're going to create something called the Cool Jane, 
Okay, you guys? Ooh. Yes. This cocktail is so kick-ass because we're gonna use Jane Walker by Johnny Walker, all right? Did you know that there was a Jane Walker, you guys? Yes, I heard of it, it's so cool. She's I cool and she's a boss. I did not know it. She's a boss and she does not play, and she's beautiful, look at that. Today's ingredients include, and I want you to raise them with me to make sure you got them, you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna, it's gonna be one and a half ounces of Jane Walker. There we go. Emma Jane. All right. Four there drops of vanilla extract. Where's our vanilla extract? Ooh. Boom! We also, we also have some tonic water. I got my tonic water, you got your tonic water? Perfect. Get your tonic water as well. Lemon wedge, sent you a lemon. I got lots of wedges, look at that, boom, all lined up. Oh, I didn't wedge it yet. I you didn't wedge it yet, that's either. fine. Let's show me your lemon, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> and a long cucumber slice. You got your cucumber? Cucumber. All right, first, let's set your things aside. I'm gonna get your lemon wedges together first. Let's set up our, our bar. Get your lemon wedges, and we're just gonna cut them and you know, cut them in the lemon wedge that you like. You can do quarters, halves, whatever, but here it is. I have no judgment over that. Just do it any way that you make a lemon wedge. I'm gonna go with the underused center wedge. The center wedge, oh, that's Look very that. underused. I love that. <laughs> I mean, we live in California, for God's sake. You can go steal a lemon from a neighbor's tree. If you have <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like I do, no. <laughs> so, um, and I we're gonna do um, a long cucumber slice as well, okay? So grab yep. your cucumber. But you wanna do it like a surfboard. I you got the small ones, right? I think I sent you the Persian cucumbers. That's beautiful. The best yes. way to do it yes. is to cut it in half, long, long way. Uh -huh. Cut it in half. And then use, if you God. have a very good and a very, make I it. I got my surfboard, here I go. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now put that okay. to the side. How do you figure that, there you go. You guys killed it. Let's build all these ingredients into an ice-filled highball glass. Look at that. I'm gonna go with the old Scottish highball. Perfect, wonderful. We're gonna build it, get your ice going. Coleman, halfway full, how much ice? I would take it right to the top. Let's make oh, it nice great. and cold today. Don't play. Great. I'm out of ice. Okay. You got I your can, ice? I'm... Let me go to the fridge real it. quick. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> oh, <that's just> so <laughs> ice. <laughs> Kelly, is this what, is this what's gonna happen when we come over? You're like, wait a minute, I need one more thing. I got <laughs> yes, Hold on one second, I gotta, let me go get one more. <sighs> Ooh, so, so you're getting in your steps at the same time you're making the content. <laughs> it's a very Basically, informal, entertaining style at our house. <laughs> All right, you guys, so let's build this baby. Let's add three ounces of tonic water, okay? Okay. And, three ounces. Yeah, three ounces. Basically, I want you to take it up to about, uh, leave a quarter empty because we need room for Jane, all right? Miss Jane Walker is gonna need her space. Which which side of this is the ounce? The long side or the short side? The, the uh, Actually, the long side is, uh, you know, the lo long side is the ounce. The long side is one and a half ounces. So you can do okay. two of these. Oh, good to know. Got it. So, yeah. Okay. I, free, I free handed mine, so. Nice. And now I'm gonna have you add four drops of vanilla extract, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay, now I want you to squeeze one of your lemon wedges into the glass, no, but you know, but get rid of the, the lemon afterwards. I don't want that in there. Okay. Squeeze that joint in here. I cover it up so the juice doesn't get everywhere. And then toss that wedge, bam. Just toss it across the kitchen? Across the kitchen, <laughs> into a neighbor's yard, anywhere. Anywhere but this glass. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> Grab your measuring tool, bam. We're gonna add, you're gonna go all the way because this is one ounce and a half, okay? So one ounce and a half of Miss Jane Walker. Let's give her a little, a little test of my smell, hand let's, let's, let's check out the nose. Mm, Ooh, she's smoky. Very nice. She's smoky. Ooh, she's caramelly. She's let herself age for 10 beautiful years. Ooh, she's nice. She's had no work done. Yes, indeed. She's uh, <laughs> Oh naturel. She's oh naturel, the way we, we like go. her, Jane. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's the coloring is so beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, give it a nice little stir. And then I want you to garnish it with your, your surfboard, with your long cucumber slice. Look at that, just give it a nice, get, give it a little twist in there, just a little bit, you can get a little cucumber in there. It's gonna be lovely. And remember, I need you to have your glass of water on the side because as we drink, hydration is key. I wanna keep you hydrated. So, all right. We, can we have a toast, you guys? Please. Cheers to you, ladies, as we celebrate this month 
International Women's Day. I love you, I admire you. I'm so proud of the contributions you make to the world. You bring so much beauty and light to everyone. I thank you, I love you, I applaud you. Cheers. Thank you, Coleman, Salud. cheers. Salud. Salud. It's beautiful, it's an all year round cocktail. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. I, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm sure Jane would appreciate that, too. It was created to champion women pushing boundaries, so it's a perfect choice for International Women's Day. That's dope. You can find the recipe for the cool Jane with Jane Walker on amc.com slash brunch. Cheers. And please Cheers. drink responsibly. All right? Mmm. This is my favorite part, you guys of the whole thing. Well, now we're chilling. The work is done. Yeah. And now it's just <laughs> us. It, it's, it's the best we can be in this scenario <laughs> when we can't be with each other. Coleman, can I just say, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank I just you. love you so much. I'm so glad you're doing this. You know, people were having their quarantine projects and I was like, Coleman better host a show. <laughs> from his home, Look, getting you know his, uh, because <laughs> you are such a connector of people. It's one of the like incredible gifts you have. If I'm really good at anything, I know it's being a host. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really good at the other stuff, but I feel like oh, being please. a host. But, <laughs> but being a host, because I love having people over and I love people like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna feed you. I think that comes from my mother though. <laughs> my mother was just like, people come over and they're like, how do you always have like crudite and snacks? I said, because I go to the market. <laughs> And I think, like my mother thought, which is somebody might come over. <laughs> and you don't want to have nothing at home. So I, I, I'm always overstocked. So is, uh, I think, Victoria Mahoney as well. I am, I have the same, and it is from my mother. And um, you know, when we were kids, my mother uh, always overcooked the portions in case a stray kid in the neighborhood, if their parents weren't home on time or still at work or whatever. Mm. To this day, I cannot cook pasta for two people. It's only no. for more, like three or four. I can't. I read a tweet the other day that said, the greatest scam in the world is cooking three hours to eat 10 minutes. And yeah, I, I started that. cracking I up, it. but I was like, you know what? <laughs> Greatest scam you know in the what? world. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a fan I of it. I'm a fan of slow, slow cooking. It's no different, I think, than writing a story or you know making a film, a very, yeah. very small film. One of the things that my mother did that was so special throughout my childhood was she could open the cupboards and even if they were bare, she could pull whatever ingredients were in there and mm. make a gourmet meal. The only real ingredient you need in cooking is love. Mm. I find that if that ingredient is there, I've never really had a bad dish. I've had things I won't re necessarily repeat again, <laughs> but I've never had a bad dish. That's beautiful. Uh, International Women's Day celebrates the cultural, social, and political impact of women. But did you know that it has its own theme? I didn't. The theme for this year is choose to challenge. Mm. They say from challenge comes change. How does that resonate with you, Vic? Did you feel that you could choose challenge always in your career? I'm a person who has to turn the valve down <laughs> on challenge. <laughs> she ain't scared. She ain't I scared. Mean, <laughs> since I was a little kid, I you know I was born saying why. That was my first word. It'll be my last word. <laughs> <laughs> right. But why? We'd read books as a kid and in school and all these books that we're supposed to read that were the books that are, you know, in English literature and on. Why aren't there any women? But why aren't there any people mm. of color? And um, most of what was has never, ever, in, you know, uh, envisioned someone like us, any of us. So okay. I was, I think by default, I have had to challenge every single thing that, every space that I enter is a challenge. Kelly, I, I wanted to ask you, um, have you always felt that you could choose to challenge? You know, I feel like challenge has chosen me. <laughs> and by that, ah, and, come and, on now. And, Say and it again to the people in the back, please. Well, you know, I think that challenge chooses me. I think it chooses <laughs> us. I think mm -hmm. that it, you're, you're challenged when you are, are faced with something, with a choice that frightens you. Where do you both get the confidence to use your platforms in this way, though? 
It's a conviction. This is what needs to be said. I got to say, somebody got to say it. Y'all are listening mm. to me, so I guess you're gonna hear it from me. You come for I'm this, real... I got more for you. Exactly. Kate uh, Andrews, who works with me with my production company, who is a fan of both of you, had a question. Hi, Kate. Yeah, hi, Kate. <laughs> um, her question was, as artists, as women in a male-dominated industry, how have you pushed through self-doubt, if you've had any self-doubt, or if you find yourself to be self-possessed and assured, where does that come from? As real as it is that the industry is male-dominated, the entire arc of my career, even when we were back, you know, treading the boards and pounding the pavement in, in New York City, Coleman, um, my greatest champions have been provided for me or in collaboration with women. And, and so I feel like most of the spaces that I enter are actually women dominated in a lot of ways. Victoria? It is in our industry. <laughs> it's um, maths, science, tech, art. Every woman I know in mm. different fields has the exact, precise, exact, precise, exact, precise same story. Mm. The ratios, the statistics, the, you know, being talked over, the um, not, you know, the lack of resources and support equivalent to their male peers. Most of the people who called me early on, you know, were trying to date me. They weren't trying to support me while mm. my male peers were actually getting support when they were. So there were years of, of time that we're just sort of walking around on our own, trying to figure out our mm. uh, how to function and grow and, and um, thrive, not just survive. Right. Me, my whole life is based on my ability to stay three moves ahead. Ooh, that's, that's a superpower, how I've, Vic. How I've Come existed. On. That is a superpower. <laughs> In my career, I've worked with some incredible men, men who have made great strides and opened some doors for me. But more than anything, more than anything, it's been my relationship with women. Most of my agents, directors, writers, people who say we want what you're gonna bring. I know that even on the set of, <laughs> of television series, the people that I'm drawn to even more so are the, are the women. And I think, mm -hmm. I feel like I figured it out, why? Because I know what it takes for these women to get into this position, to have mm -hmm. a seat at the table. So they know everything, but they're also, there's no ego leading the room. It's just the work. And mm -hmm. I feel like I work best with women, always. I feel like we're, everyone's always being like, cool, that's good, that's what, any great idea, let's do it, let's try it, let's figure it out. It's always the healthiest relationship, so I mm. thank you for that. <laughs> I'm just thanking you and I'm thanking Beautiful. any woman who hears me, but it's so true. Who inspires you and what do you hope to contribute to the world in 2021? W women who have um, total confidence in their capacity. What, what, what do you hope to contribute? It can be simple. Wisdom. Mm. I feel like we are in a time when um, we have an opportunity to reevaluate and rebuild internally and, you know, on a, on a very small scale and on a very big scale. And I hope that um, I am guided by some wisdom and that I, I can share that with, with the world as we do this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Victoria, who inspires you? I mean, the, the truth of, of my whole journey is that I walk on the shoulders of, um, I walk on the shoulders of women who did not get the call. Mm. And every single day of my life, I am aware of the feel, the graveyard of broken dreams. Mm. And I am obligated, and I have this welcome burden of responsibility to give for them, to shine for them, to excel for them, to expand the horizon for the next coming generation. And I owe them, I owe them every single moment of creative joy and creative bliss that I live through at this very second. I got all emotional um, with that, but um, <laughs> this too. is, of course, but you know what? That's a... Uh... That's where we need to be these days, I believe. I believe we have to be with one heart and one mind together, yes. truly. Yeah, um, that's really it. This was truly the most fantastic brunch, you guys. I love you. I love celebrating, you know, International Women's Day month with you um, because it should be a month or a year, am I right? Every, it's every day for me. It's already every day for me, so. 
Well, I can't wait to have you back over here for a meal, you guys, when we can be together. Until then, please take care of yourselves. Love you. This is my mom. Her name was Edith. She passed away in 2006, and she was the greatest influence in my life. She was smart, strong, funny, curious, and had the biggest laugh you've ever heard. She was, um, I don't know, just an amazing, amazing, incredible woman. I, uh, I populate my world with incredible women. It's important for me, the way we advocate for each other. And I owe that to having an incredible mom. So I thank you, mom. I thank you to my sisters out there doing the work. I see you, I love you, I support you, I advocate for you as you advocate for me. We create spaces for each other in this world. So thank you. Until next time, I'm Coleman Domingo. This is Bottomless Bunch of Coleman's. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.